Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Acer Chromebook Tab 10, which is the first Chrome OS device to ship as just a tablet. There's no keyboard included. There's no detachable keyboard, no attached keyboard. The idea is instead that you can navigate using your fingers or the included pen for writing or drawing, which is fine for most situations. If you wanted to do a lot of text input, you could plug in a USB keyboard or use a Bluetooth one. But in terms of one feature that normally requires a keyboard, entering developer mode, uh, normally you would press a special key combination, there's a different way to do that on Chrome OS tablets. And that's just using the buttons that you do have, which would be the power button and the volume up and volume down keys. The idea is that you actually have to press all of them simultaneously, which is gonna be a little tricky to show here on camera, but let me try adjusting the camera angle a little bit. And we're gonna press and hold all three, volume down, volume up, and power until the screen turns off. And then we release, and it comes back on. From here, you'll see it says, please insert a recovery USB or SD card. Um, but if you hit the volume down or volume up buttons, it brings you to another menu that says show debug info, cancel power off or language. So from here, we can use volume down to navigate and power to select. What you don't see here is anything that says developer options. But again, if you press and hold both the volume down and volume up at the same time, it takes you to this screen, which now says cancel power off language. And instead of show debug information, it says confirm disabling OS verification. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the power button to confirm. And OS verification is off, your system is insecure. You can enable it from this menu, uh, or you could uh, power off and power the device back on. Uh, you can also go into developer options from this menu by pressing the power button again. And you see that we've got options for booting legacy BIOS boot from USB or SD card, or boot from the internal disk, which is what I'm gonna do this time. So once you've enabled developer mode, uh, you sort of wind up in this uh, situation the first time where it tells you it's gonna start in 30 seconds, it's gonna make some modifications, and it's gonna take a while. Um, you can cancel now by turning off your computer, but that's basically the first boot. Once you've done that, you can do some interesting things like using Crouton to install Linux to run uh, a desktop Linux environment like Ubuntu side by side with Chrome OS. While you could just switch to developer channel, which is different from developer mode, you could switch to developer channel and run Chrome OS 69 or later in order to run Linux applications within Chrome OS, Crouton basically gives you a full desktop environment, which is a little bit of a different experience. The ability to boot from a USB flash drive could also open the door to uh, replacing Chrome OS with a different operating system if that's something you wanted to do. Uh, that's not something I've tried. Uh, uh, I haven't really gone down that path yet. Right now, I just wanted to show you the process of enabling developer mode. So that's how you do it. And uh, once it's done, it does open the door to doing a couple of different things. It also opens the door to potentially damaging your device. So it's probably not a bad idea to create a uh, restore disk in case you wanted to, because then again, you could go back to that menu and choose the restore options. Uh, pressing and holding power and the volume up and volume down keys does get you back to that uh, menu. So you could enable OS verification at any time if you wanted to undo what we just did. Uh, and then the other thing to keep in mind is that when uh, developer mode is enabled, it's gonna take a little bit longer to boot the device. So it'll resume from sleep just as quickly as it usually does. But if you wanted to, um, every time you reboot the computer, it's gonna uh, either take 10 seconds to load or it says hit control plus D uh, in order to bypass that menu, something you can't do if you don't have a keyboard, so it's a little bit trickier. You could also go into those menu options that I just showed you and say boot from internal disk like we just did. So anyways, that is a quick look at how to enable developer mode on a Chrome OS tablet that does not have a physical keyboard. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and you can check out the uh, full review of the Acer Chromebook Tab 10 at lilliputing.com or on YouTube.